A beautiful Australian tradition is the classic leg lamb roast, and that works so well with rosemary, which happens to be the herb of remembrance. So you'll need a two kilo leg of lamb that's been tunnel boned, but that spot where the bone was makes a perfect pocket for the stuffing. I'm using five slices of bread, the crust taken off, diced up, and just dampened with a little bit of milk. Grab a couple of onions, and about six cloves of garlic, finely diced, and just sweat them off gently in some olive oil. The onions and garlic will take a couple of minutes to cook. So while that's happening, grab yourself some rosemary, maybe three stems, chop over it really finely, and we'll throw that into the stuffing as well. And follow in with the onions and garlic. And then the zest of one lemon. Then follow in with two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. You could use a seeded mustard if you want as well. And 100 grams of toasted chopped walnuts. And then in with some salt, black pepper and one egg to bind the stuffing. Give it a really good mix and secure it in the pocket of the lamb. And if you can, just secure the stuffing in the lamb end with a couple of skewers. So to cook this leg of lamb, you'll need a large pot or a deep roasting tray. I'm going to throw an onion, a bulb of garlic and about eight carrots split down the middle into the bottom of the pot, along with some celery as well. We'll throw in 250 mils of white wine and about 100 mils of white vinegar. And this just keeps the leg of lamb really moist while it's cooking. Then in with the lamb. Salt and pepper on the lamb. Throw in some extra sprigs of rosemary. Then drop the lid on top and pop it into a preheated oven at 170 degrees and cook for two hours. And then we'll have a sneak peek, take the lid off and cook for another half an hour to 40 minutes and brown that lamb up beautifully. Well, I seriously wish you were here because if you could smell this lamb roast and the rosemary and the sweetness of the carrots and that garlic roasting, it is so glorious. So simply now, all we do is pile on the carrots, the celery, the whole bulb of garlic, halve a little of the lamb and send it to the table. I'd do it with a big steaming bowl of minted peas with a touch of butter, salt and sugar. This seriously is the most delicious lamb roast and will be really hard to forget.